Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a Bollywood version of Smile to Jannah. Don't worry, there's not going to be some random dance sequences in the middle of it. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Alright guys, so as some of you may have heard, Zyra Wasim, who is an 18 year old, very young Bollywood actress with a career spanning 5 years and she's worked alongside superstars like Amir Khan in smash hits like Dungal. She decided to publicly distance herself from Bollywood and say, you know what, I've decided to call it a day. And she cited her religious commitments as the reason why. She posted a in-depth piece of writing on her Instagram and Facebook which I thought was very well informed and very mature mate. Yeah I was reading and I was thinking this looks like it's coming from a scholar mate. I mean the last time I was this refreshed mate I was able to remove a wedgie without anybody noticing in a room full of people. Now that's quite difficult to do if you've been in that situation. If you haven't then you're probably thinking mate what are you banging on about? I, I honestly when, when I heard this I was like wow mashallah that's amazing because girls her age would give anything to be in the situation that she's in. In fact they spend their entire lives aspiring to it. They sacrifice their dignity, their modesty, posting promiscuous pictures which they later regret later on in life just to get attention. This girl had all that attention mate but she gave it up for Islam at such a tender age. Surely she's seen something in religion that's really solid mate. Now if this was just something cultural that was done in your homes, surely it wouldn't have had such a big impact on her. I mean some of us think it's a cultural thing, you do it on the weekend, you do it on Juma, mate, yeah whatever, when you go work you're, you're Mo mate. If you're Muhammad you're Mo mate, if you're Bilal you're Billy mate. In fact a lot of girls her age and of course boys yeah, they're very impulsive and you look at the society that doesn't make things easier. You want food? Fast food. You want medicine? Fast acting relief. You want a relationship? Yeah just swipe, double tap, quick, quick time, quick time flex yeah. You're not happy with it? Fast divorce. Divorce rates are skyrocketing mate. They want fast career progression. If they don't notice that they quickly get rid of the job looking for another job. And then of course as maturity sets in and you know life weighs you down and forces you to think, in other words experience, then they're obviously filled with regrets. But then it's too late so they also want a fast exit from life as well. Hence why you see suicide rates go through the roof. Naturally in a country led by Modi and his Islamophobic party there's gonna be a backlash yeah you're gonna get people that are not that supportive. How can we benefit from this experience of this courageous individual? Now she says in a piece of writing that she didn't feel stability, she didn't feel true happiness and that's a very interesting point because when we scroll through their social media we see all these selfies and people looking very happy and walking the red carpet we're like mate these people have got it made. We see those smiles but they're literally edited on mate yeah. So we know that disobedience is unnatural for the soul yeah. It might give temporary relief but it just doesn't fit in with you mate yeah. It's really odd, just as odd as seeing a penguin doing his danger mate. He's got those flippers you know what I mean like the reach is just not there. He just has to jump in and just hope it's all just gonna wash off. If you're a parent as long as you've brought up your child well Past a certain age yeah, let's just say when they're in their teenage years, you can't tell them don't do this, don't do that, you have to change your approach, modify your approach. When they're young yeah tell them but as they're making that transition it's more dialogue with them and if they're making a, a certain decision you know advise them but you have to let them make that decision and trust in the process that your upbringing will bring them back. Some parents force their kids and eventually push them away. Another phenomenal thing was I was scrolling through her social media and you know what have a look there's no selfies. Now I know some girls will be like <gasps> oh my god no selfies, is she out of her mind? Has she become an extremist? No guys 
she's become a realist. It's not even an accurate representation of you. No. I love people. I would much prefer saying hello and who are you and what are you doing today and than uh, giving a selfie yeah. because selfies stop the world. You know, they stop life. You then go <laughs> like yeah, that yeah. and it's going on Instagram uh, to give people a false sense of relevance. Now the question is, what if a month from now she defaults again? Guys, just because she's made that decision, she's taken the first most important step, which is acknowledging. Naturally, a person will sometimes fall, but you've got to learn to pick yourself up again. And that's the thing, as long as you keep picking yourself up again and doing Toba, you know what? You're on a good path. Let me just read out a quote from her amazing piece of writing. But my sincere advice to everyone is that no amount of success, fame, authority or wealth is worth trading or losing your peace or the light of your Iman for. Iman faith, yeah? Strive not to surrender to your desires for desires are infinite and always leap out ahead of whatever has just been achieved. I'm just going to end with this. And I think this is remarkable and I definitely think you guys should share this video with especially the younger generation who are just in blind pursuit of fame, of attention, of material. That when you reach it, because there's no substance behind it, as soon as you touch it, it's like a mirage, yeah, or just like a pile of ash. As soon as you try to grab it, it just starts floating everywhere and then you realize how empty you are. And that's when people then turn to drugs to drown out this feeling of feeling empty. But this feeling of emptiness can only be filled with the one who's created us. For he tells us, Allah bi dhikrillahi tatma'innul qulub. Verily, it is only in my remembrance, Allah says, do hearts, oh, do hearts find satisfaction. And if you're looking for that satisfaction, guys, go ahead. You can try. Yeah, you can try you will fail. You will fail because the creator of your heart hasn't put success in those things. Your heart is inclined towards Allah, towards God. You can try these fake things but ultimately guys you're just wasting years. Be like this girl, realize earlier, look into the deen and guys you will find the sweetness of real life. Guys I'm gonna leave it there. Let's ponder on this amazing, amazing stuff. And until next time, Salaamu Alaikum.